hello today i'm here with a new video and today i am doing a black friday haul slash things i have bought the latest and uh, i did a wish list for black friday i can leave it up here and spoiler spoiler alert i did not shop as much as i thought i was going to but yeah i just think we will hop into this because i have a lot of things and i'm going to show it's mostly makeup <laughs> but it's also some things that are not makeup so i think i can start with the things that isn't makeup and uh, i can start with a bag that i bought i bought this a little handbag this is from karin vester and i guess that it's a swedish brand and this is fake leather of course it's vegan leather so this is just a little black bag with a plastic chain on it i think it looks really good and one problem i have with this is my phone is like too big but it works <laughs> but yeah i bought this bag and i do really really like it and i did also bought two pair of new buffaloes like i need to stop shop for buffalo shoes i have seven pairs now but yeah i haven't worn any of these because these are light colored and um, if i would wear them out now they would be so so dirty so i bought one pair of white buffaloes i have these in black this is the ash i think they are called i'm not sure but i bought white ones i do love the black ones i have so i wanted white and now i'm thinking about matching these so i have one white boot and one black boot so yeah i bought these these are so so comfortable and then i also bought these beige ones this have like a buckle on them and these i do not have any in any other color but like i mostly have black buffaloes so like maybe i should buy something else of black so i bought these and uh, i haven't wear these either because of the weather and i don't want to destroy the shoes the first thing i do so i'm waiting for the worst of the winter to be over before i use them and <laughs> then i have one pair of sunglasses these are from a Swedish brand that is called Shimmy and I do love sunglasses and I love maybe a little bit more than normal sunglasses and these are actually yellow sunglasses. I don't know what I think about these but I think they look pretty cool. I thought I could put them on. I think I do like them. I know this is not for everyone but I think I actually do like them. It's mirror gloss in them and I don't have any yellow sunglasses but now I do so I'm looking forward to using these when the sun if it ever will come back to Sweden. Now it seems a little bit dark. Oh yeah I do really like these and the round glasses is my favorite. It feels like I'm speeding through this but it's just that we are going to make dinner. <laughs> so good at planning. And the last thing that is not makeup is some jewelry. I ordered from Eros plugs and from Ask and Embla and we can start with what I bought from Eros. I bought these ones, these ear weights. It's like wings. I've been thinking for such a long time to buy these and uh, they had an amazing Black, Black Friday sale so I did it and I, I do like them. They feel really really good. I also did buy these ones just like a big <laughs> ring where you can take the ball off of course and uh, yeah they are a little bit tricky to put the ball back in but I'm thinking about wearing these in like a tunnel 
one day, someday. And the last thing I bought from Eros is glass plug or mirror plugs, I think they were called. I thought these looked so, so cool. And these are glass ones and that is like my favorite to wear. And I'm really happy about these. Super comfortable and look really, really good. And then from Ask and Emla, I did buy these. I think I have had these on in a video. I bought swords um, and ear weight. That is a sword. And I I do like these, but they tilt a little bit in the ear. But I think they look really, really cool. And they are really, really light. So they are really comfortable to wear. I also bought some saddle. Like these saddle hangers. But it's not a hanger. Like horseshoe saddle. I do like them as well. And the last thing I bought was some ear cuffs. I have the shorter ones from Mask and Nembla, but now I bought the longer ones. And if you don't know what this is, you open them in the back and then you just put it on your lobe. And you click it in and have it like this, just like to stack things. And of course, I did buy a pair. And I have the shorter ones, but I really like the longer ones. And okay, <laughs> that was everything that is not makeup related. So now I'm going to go into the makeup things and I'm going to take this by brand. I can start with LH Cosmetics. I did buy two things. I bought a new makeup sponge. This was on sale on Black Friday and I soon need the new sponge and I do really like this one. So yeah, it's just the sponge by LH Cosmetics. Yeah. And then I bought the third lip gloss that I don't have. It's the Infinity Lip Gloss in Dusty Rose. It's what I have on today. And as you may know, I do not like lip glosses, but these ones I do really like. They have three colors and I have all the colors now and they are so comfortable and really, it's like sticky, but it's not sticky. I don't know how to describe it, but if you don't like lip glosses, this might be for you because I do not and I do love this. From another Swedish brand called Beauty Act, I bought this stick highlighter. This is in pearlized. And I do really like this. I've used this twice, I think. Maybe I should swatch it for you. And this gives like a wet, I don't know. Yeah, there you can see it. It's like a, it gives a wet glow. And it was so easy to put on a set base and I do I really really like this one for some reason I just want to use stick things I don't know why but this one I really like so if you live in the Nordics and can get a hold of Beauty Act I recommend this let's hop in to Nabla they had a amazing discount on Black Friday and Black Friday week and I was planning on buying the concealer and I did. I haven't opened this yet because I'm going to um, use up the one I have from NYX. But this is their concealer. I don't want to open this yet and I bought it in porcelain. This is the lightest color and that is usually like what I go for. The lightest of the lightest and it usually fits. So I'm really looking forward to try this and see if it is what I want. But if I read about it, it sounds exactly what I'm looking for in a concealer. So this one, you are going to hear about this when I start to use this. And then if we're going to blushes, I talked in my video that I wanted to buy Truth. This it's really nice. I do love these skin glaze blushes and I said that I wanted to buy Truth and I did. 
but I also when I was on the site I was like okay it's one that I don't have so I bought that as well this is independence and I actually think that I like this more than this one I will have up uh, the cluttering my blushes and highlighters I think that has already come up when you're seeing this and I swatched these but I do really love these these are some of my absolute favorite blushes and these colors amazing and the last two things I bought from Nabla is the new two reasons I have one on today I have this on that is soft nude It looks like this. So I have this as a blush and this as a highlighter and these work, I think they work best without any powder under like on your foundation, not set, but it still works on powder, but I would recommend you to use it without any setting powder. But these are so so nice and I do really love to use this as and highlighter and this one is really good as uh, as a lipstick as well and the other shade I bought was very nude and I thought that I was going to like this the most <laughs> but I actually like soft nude more and I do really want the other two colors I think but do I need them no and that was all I bought from Nabla. I also bought some new brushes. I bought from the Swedish brand Flare. I do really, really like their brushes. I bought, I think, two of these and two of <laughs> these. But these are really, really good. And it was half off, I think. So I was like, okay, I'm going to buy some new brushes. And they are really, really good. But at the same time, I don't want to talk about them so much because you can only get a hold of these in the Nordics because it's the big beauty store kicks, it's their own brand, so not everybody can get a hold of these. Just to you know. And the last brush that I bought is from Sigma. This is the E32. I already have one of these. But I do love it so so much so I was like okay I want another one because it is so so good it's a really small dense but fluffy brush and it works so good with shimmers so good with mattes it's really easy to like blend it out in your crease as well so I do really love this and it was on sale so I was like okay I'm going to buy one more wish I would have bought more. Okay, it feels like I'm speeding through this really, really much because now I only have one brand left and that is Lethal. And uh, maybe we can start with the most boring thing from Lethal. I finally did buy their little tool. I know that this is not like only Lethal that has it, but I wanted one of these. But I have never like come to it and then I was ordering from Lethal and it was in stock so I was like okay I can buy it. So it's a flat side to like pick up the shadows from the palette and then a pointy side to poke it out from the back and yeah, it works good. Nothing special. Yeah it's good. It's fine. Then I also bought the Berlin 89 and this you have seen a video on. It looks like this and uh, I used this duochrome with the look I did or multi-chrome and uh, I am in love. And uh, I am really happy with the look that came out of this and I am going to use this more. I'm going to try to not only use this multi-chrome but such a cool shade. It shifts like from pink to green. So yeah, I'm really happy that I got it and tried a multi-chrome but at the same time not because now I want more. But <laughs> I actually bought one of the single multi-chromes. This is Proxima. Proxima. 
Let's see if I can try. I can write what is supposed to reflect because I don't think I can catch it. But this one, when I watched the swatches, I was like, okay, in the Berlin palette, it is a really dark one. So I wanted one of the lighter ones and I haven't tried it yet. But I think I actually will like it. And that makes me a little bit sad because then I maybe want to buy the palette and it's kind of expensive. And then we have only one thing left that is also from Lethal. I bought a new lipstick. I do like Lethal's liquid lipstick. It's not my favorite, but they are really good. And this is in Rapture. And this one... I had it on when I... Um, did my first impression with the Berlin palette and it is a really dark dark red and you know me I do love red lipsticks and I love dark red lipsticks and this it looks amazing and I actually went out eating with this one and it held up pretty good and I could easily just reapply where it was missing I'm really happy that I put this in I was like okay I can take lipsticks as well and I'm really happy that I did and okay you know what that was all for my Black Friday haul it felt like I shopped a lot but to be fair Black Friday is more than one day for some store it's like the whole month and like or two weeks <sighs> But yeah, these are the things that I bought. It is not everything that I said that I was going to buy in my video, but this is what it came to. I was so close to buying from Black Moon Cosmetics, but I was going to buy the Urban Myth and uh, one of the lipsticks because the lipstick trio that I wanted was out of stock. But the shipping was going to be kind of the same price as the palette. So I was like... I'm not doing it. And the Lunar Beauty Moon, Moon Spell 2 and one of the lipsticks. I wasn't that super excited when Black Friday finally did came and it was other things that I wanted more so I didn't buy it. But yeah this is everything that I bought and I'm happy with all the things. But yeah now I really feel like I need to do this no buy. But yeah, I really hope that you liked this video. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss enough of my videos. And I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!